Hello everybody and welcome back to another ranked match. It's been a while. Well, today we're playing against StatMuffin96, whoever this is. And for once, we're playing Blue Dragons. Uh, you don't see that very often nowadays. We just really actually do something that I should have done before recording, but who cares. Um. Yes, Blue Dragons, Highway to Soul against StatMath for 96. Um, probably a pretty good map for us, I would say. Although I have played with dragons in a while. Um, let's get a ninja and another OH6. <coughs> Excuse me. Infantry CV for Foxtrot and then... What's gonna be our plan? I think our plan is gonna be go for Del going for Delta because we can make good use of our Chumats here. And here, possibly an echo, depending on how far we can go. Speaking of, let's see if we can heal drop there. Then for me, let's get some scouts and let's get some chumats and so let's get some hachinanas. All right, that's basically standard. Um, let's get K ones. Let's not go for Q model right away. Um, in terms of AA, I think I'm just gonna get one. Let's get, a, let's get a short arrow. Let's not save too much on a. Um, they're always useful to have. Some spam infantry. We don't have much for the right. Actually, it's like, say, two squads of you is enough. Get another Hachinana, like an M36 for the right. It's not a whole lot, and we all only have two AA pieces with the ninja. Could maybe get rid. Take, maybe you could get away with only one K1, but since we have two Chumats, but I don't want to risk too much. We could also get rid of the OH6, but hold up, what's the speed difference? 280 versus 260. Mm, I guess I guess we can. Yeah, sure. Let's get rid of this. Then do I have 36s for like this area, maybe. Okay, if hold up, get rid of this. You have forty points. Um, I think a KAFV on the right is gonna be a bit better because it's two units instead of one, and it is not completely useless versus airborne or like helicopter units. We technically don't need a motor right now. We don't. We don't need to protect the super heavy, so we can save that as well. Then with that, we can get. Get like two more K if we stay on this side. Okay. One second is over. Ha 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 ha. By the way, what I should mention is that in the 5,000 subscriber stream on Friday, I did not only play that horrible weep game, but I also played uh, one match of deck game. Um, which I'll hopefully link in the description or somewhere in case I forget. Which is why the next ne deck game episode will not be a continuation of the last one since that we streamed live. I streamed live, I suppose. Just so you are aware, because I believe, and I'm not gonna blame, it's most certainly not blaming anyone. I think a, li a, lo a good amount of people probably were like, a shitty weep dating sim bullshit. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that and. In hindsight, I shouldn't have done it because while Panzer Medals is also kind of the same thing, Panzer Medals was at least kind of fun. But that one, it was not 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 even fun. Not not in like it was just very bad jokes, unpredictable and not very subtle, etc. All right. Let's do this. Hundred ammo there. You go here, ninja. Let's put you there. We don't want to. <clears throat> Jesus, we don't want to be too aggressive. Another one of you here. The other one in the town. Okay, once you go in there. Okay, if we drive down there. K two hundred in there. Kuroko in here as well. One unloads in there, the other one in there. And then let's just see what what goes on. Uh, 
Ah, I see, I see. Well, if he plays the same deck, which... Which, oh no. Okay, we need some more AA. We need some more AA. Let's drive there to the side so we can avoid the tiger, hopefully. Yeah, there it is. And we missed this. I'm already not liking this. So many helicopters. Is this it's a, a mirage? It is a mirage. And you is getting out of tandem. We got both, really. Ah, this is this is yeah, very epic. Helicopters are fun. Helicopters are fun. We don't have line of sight. We killed you, but you killed two A pieces of us, which is great. Okay, that's where you're pushing, huh? Let's put you back. Okay, you survived. Let's put it down there. Uh, Amex tens, Amex tens everywhere. Well, they're gonna be Falch Mega 90 in there or something. Oh no, Jaeger. Falch Mega 90 would be elite. He really did not get a second CV, huh? That is interesting. He's got something here, I wouldn't be surprised if there's gonna sneak something through. Let's keep you down there for now. Now the panther. Let's see if he can split you up. Hopefully you get in range in time. Here's Milan's there. Uh, he might put an anti-gem squad in the town there now. Get some supply trucks going. You have to make sure that nothing sneaks through here, actually. We have no optics there. To make some push happening there, let's get our motor ready. You're not in range yet. Let's turn you off. I don't want you to accidentally reveal yourself. Excuse me, really? Oh my god, dude. Didn't turn fast enough. Uh, that's, that's bullshit, dude. Those are the two tigers. This tantrum is now empty. Amazing. I guess let's just get another one. Scout there. Nice. There's Hachinana, let's get the Cobra.
Hey, Amex sun, I should say. Hell oh, you're not landed. Okay, let's hope you're not gonna... Okay, it's a bit, bit far up, just a bit though. Actually, you're in cover. Okay, let's go. Let's move you in there. What's, what's that a piece run that I just spotted very briefly there? There's Team Milan squad. No. See if we can move you in there. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Let's move you down there as well. Get you running. I don't think I killed the Amex 10, so let's see what we can do there. Uh, oh no, not you again. Let's get to the K1 there. Let's turn you on. Get you back so you're at the edge. Oh no! Oh, thank goodness for Milan being garbage. It's a one down. There's a peace run. Luckily, I was in cover. Oh no, you, you're. Okay, so luckily, grenade launchers are ridiculous. Let's get another K1. Okay, I did kill it, I believe, because I vet it up. It's it's good wood. It's good wood. It's a few too many helicopters for my taste, though. I I don't like this. This is just such a place that I don't enjoy playing against. Not one bit. But I think most of you know that already. Lots of AMX, that's uh, yeah, just AMX tents, various versions of AMX tents. Actually, let's see what we can do with our helos here. Okay, let's pull you back in. High speed run should be ready by now again, so maybe he's gonna send it out now. Yeah, there it is. Maybe I should. I, d I don't think, but I don't think investing into a. Uh. Hog is the right call right now. It's just so expensive. Come on, Ninja. Do the thing. I hit you once, though, so that's nice. Some. M36 is there. Clearly trying to do some stuff. Let's unload you before it's too late. Put you back here in a defensive position. It's a lot of infantry there. Ooh, let's not forget to turn you back on. Get some more of you as well. You're useful. Oh, I have two game ones here. Do, 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 do. Honestly, let's see what we can do with you there. And get another two mat squad. Guess we can turn you on. I'd like two of you there, maybe. Alright, yes. Hey, Max, there. Like a quad stack of you there. It's a tiger. Oh, 
I think we could get a CV soon. Actually, let's move you over there. He's buying a CV. Ooh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. It's a piece run again. But at the cost of at least his Regan Tiger. Possibly his Tiger Hab as well? Yes, okay, that's a trade I take any day of the week. It's a trade I'm always willing to take. He also bought his V for that side, by the way, we saw a Jeep moving there briefly. And there. It's the AMX tense, of course. Let's get our, CV on, our own CV move we done there as well. As you know, let's move down there. Peace, Ryan's. There's our Cobra, there it is. Another tiger. Up with, oh no, of course it's up with it. But he's playing Moto. We hit the Amex and killed it. So that was the damage one. Let's pull down into the ditch. Pull down into the ditch to break line of sight. He's still at line of I guess, from something else then. But we killed another tiger. Once again, happy with that trade. Need more supply. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Cheeky, huh? Let's see if we can do something here. Oh wow, here's one of the one, one of those there. Huh? Let's turn you off again. Get a K one there. Uh, honestly, it's. I think it's worth. Saving for the extra 30 points for the seed. Even though he doesn't have, um, probably doesn't have radar AA, the stealth in an, uh, the stealth, it's, I think it's, it's worth it. And the extra veterancy, of course, as well, but mostly the stealth. Chumat, you, you have forsaken me. If you in there have the seat like in this area. Oh no 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 K1, what are you doing? You're you're dying, that's what you are doing. The K1 on that side. Drop one of you in there. Oh yes, I don't know how I spotted you, but I did. Briefly. I think I'll need you over there. That's a uh, mistress uh, dropped there. It's good to know. Yes, yeah, sigh all you want, you keto spammer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
that's more. It makes sense, of course. You have line of sight. Why are you not shooting? You honestly, you've been doing some nice work here, so let's get more of you. He killed another Mistral, which is cool. He's very light on AA, I think. And like we killed three tigers, so we should probably get a Cobra, honestly. Okay, one, well, I think you're spotted. No, not my, not my, not my ninja. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> Alright, I should not, I should meme less and focus more. I didn't want to tell you to unload it. Don't land again. Oh, double MGs. Yes, hell yes. Double MGs are amazing. Why should we fucking hit? Okay, that's a CV, Jeep CV, as we expected. Let's get our own CV and going, going there. Hello. Oh, you're out of fuel! Like my microphone in front of me was just blocking that part of the hut, or like of the screen. So I didn't realize that the fuel load was zero. You're dead. Did you notice that the sound effect for this gun, the HE gun, and the AP gun is different? Maybe, maybe go back in the video so you can check, but... You still have line of sight, Shumat, by the way. Why should we shoot? Why should we fucking shoot? Or I guess fire makes more sense. They don't shoot, they fire their missiles, right? What do I know? Um, let's be safe and get some AA here. Um, just in case he decides to fly around like, like a tiger or something. A single healer, uh, the Hachinana won't do much against the tiger. Let's also get supply here and resupply the ninja there, so while it's there it can at least spot something. Oh, tiger hap! And let's get another Tansom over there. Oh, th th those Turgions are elite, they could do some nice work if they hit the back armor, because front and side have one armor, and that helps immensely. But not a Cobra. And I guess, in hindsight, it was a bit foolish to already buy the CV here. Let's put you back, you're spotted. Let's not try to gun run that, that's not gonna work. What about those Shumat? They did fire kill both the VAP and the... Amex, the recon tank they had there. Um, let's get you, you're always good. And no way. Never mind. That's. Oh, that's Tiger Hab, of course. Of course, I've. <laughs> No blue dragons, I think. I, I said this before, but uh, but a lot of people have said this before me, so I'm not, I'm not the first one to say this. But blue, blue dragons is kind of. It is very versatile. You can do a lot of motor, a lot of healer and stuff, and a lot of mech stuff. 
Mike is probably where it's strongest as it with like K1s, M36s, and the transports you get. That's just the main thing that I struggle with is the ASFs can be a bit of hit and miss, and both in literal and figurative way. And um, with like air spam, they can really, really struggle sometimes, especially against two armor planes, stuff like that. It's really something that the stack doesn't like. Pull you up. This is the only K1 we have over there, it is. I still have you there. Tiger I have there though. Oh no, you're, he's finally getting it. I just realized, I think me saying it has a different sound may just me hearing the Puma Pirate over there. So maybe I was wrong. Hell yeah, he killed you both. Are you still alive? Let's get another. <gasps> just got side shot, dude. You can't just get side shot. Also, the one 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 thing that I'm just not sure about is 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 this like best with the fob? Because sometimes you really benefit with the fob, like my heli helicopter stuff. They could really use a fob, but sometimes you just don't get a chance to use that many helicopters, and then your fob is basically wasted. It's it's tough. It's it's hard to think because the ninja doesn't really use a lot of supply. Like four missiles didn't even cost three hundred supply, right? But then when you have some cobras and stuff, you know, then you're like, yeah, a fob would be kind of nice, you know. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One v one, one v one. Oh, he's running away. He's all oh, a little bitch. But I... He, he's faster, but I'm accelerating. Oh, I think he might get to... Yeah, he's, um, he's just a bit too far away. What a, what a fucking coward. But unload you, he has commando spotter there. But they're probably already that far up, since the Hudo Rena spotted. Oh boy, Mirage plus Tiger versus Cave 16. Oh, plus two Tigers. Oh, I'm gonna die. And that's what I mean with hit and miss, you know, that Mirage. I mean, I didn't get hit so far. But it, yeah, I didn't get hit. But that's nice. Let's get another ninja. He actually counter camped. A coward. There they are, I knew it. I knew it. Here's the last. <laughs> He's coming back. <laughs> Oh, he might actually kill my tans I'm there. Ah, oh, no, he was a bit off. He went for my CV, obviously, but he could have gotten lucky and accidentally killed it. Did he retreat with this? Did I not get another Cobra? There it is. Oh, he kept Echo. He really kept Echo, huh? Interesting. Let's see if we can get you down there. Pulled, pulled you a boot up. Pulled you a boot up. And honestly, these cobras are just so useful. I think I think I really underrated them, the usefulness of them. And I don't just mean haha healer rush very funny, but I mean in general. For stuff like this, dealing with cheap stuff on the flanks. So useful. I think the Chuma yeah, they missed. Or maybe that was not AMX and they killed it, but they missed. What a joke, dude. They missed. He's running again. What did? What does he spawn? K1 here? It's 
really dangerous, honestly, to fly past them. But I guess it worked out. Okay, he does have stuff there. My Chuma is out of ammo. Like K1 there. Yeah, yeah. I think we got a bit lucky on with this map, honestly. Um, I think uh, he can't get as much advantage from like the early game push as you can on something like Nuclear Winter. Um, so the deck, the map, certainly was was good for me in this matchup. Also, I think I think you just saw. I'm pretty sure he did not spot the block 52D near that end engagement against the second piece, Ryan. I think that's where you can see where the, where the stealth is. Yeah. Two Dragons is just a very solid deck. That's just that's you there's just some I wouldn't say niche, but not that but some some scenarios here and there in, in some matchups where they they can just very very uh, struggle really hard. And I would also say that my deck actually first has it has some nice tool against his stuff. Uh with K1s and Chumats, I think. They work really well against him. And the Tansoms, they honestly didn't disappoint at all this game for once. Man, it makes sense, are annoying. Thank you, you as well. Bully. Let's take a quick look at the deck. I was talking about, I'm not sure how, since how I, how I'm not sure about how I feel about a fob. Obviously, based on this one match, you can't really get to conclusions, but some people... I could use something like this in the deck, I suppose. I could use a K9 Thunder or the this MSSR, which I think is bad, but maybe it's not that bad. It's You know what? Let's just fucking try it out, shall we? But what do we cut? <laughs> Okay, we would need a farm that doesn't change. No Japanese, in a minute, my guy moves, fang in Seaman, out of the floor, Spanish, I'm just kidding. Um, we would need another 3 AP. We could, I think we can cut this. I think it's nice to have, but since we will most likely basically always start with a ninja, the main use of it, which is getting vision in the opener, is more, I wouldn't say unnecessary, but not nearly as important. It is obviously still good to have for like flanks. Ironically, I didn't even think of getting one for my right flank, which I definitely should have given the matchup. Um, but it's gonna be annoying to not have that, maybe. But you know what? I just want to try this out. You get f there are fifty points, so I can get two of them for less than a than an LRM. So maybe not not gonna be too bad. Um, I. I don't know if this, you know what, I can just quickly check actually what the stat difference and rate of fire difference etc are because I actually don't remember if 
this fires all at once. And I think in this scenario, the shorter maximum range might actually be good? Question mark? I'm not sure. The rate of fire is different, but it may just be because of the maximum ammo. Because this one firing 36 in one minute and then having to reload, and this one firing 24 in one minute and then having to reload is obviously... Okay, so MSSR Koryong, uh, and let's just pull the Lars 2 next to it. I'm gonna put this on screen, hopefully I'm not gonna leak anything. Uh, hold up, let's just do it like that. Um, I think I should be fine. Desktop, there we go. All right, firepower. We have shot reload 0 0.6, they're the same. Aim time 30 seconds. Salvo length, okay, so the core young fires all at once. The shot reload on the Lars 2 is 0. Point hey, wait, the base Lars has the same shot reload? I didn't realize they buffed that one as well. Interesting. Um, but I'm more interested in the flash radius, which is actually a bit bigger here. The rate of fire is obviously lower, but since I will probably use them in two stacks or something. Also higher suppression. You know what? I will give them a try. I don't think it's worth getting the Koryong, which fires, which does fire 50% more missiles for more than 50% more. However, I think firing more over a longer time is worse than firing more at the same time or simultaneously. Plus, this will start reloading sooner. So let's let's try this out. Maybe I'm underestimating this a bit. This MLR system. I'm gonna use some up with it for now. I don't think I will need seven, and I think the extra accuracy can be useful. Not the greatest autonomy, which actually can maybe be a bit annoying on some maps like nuclear winter, but shouldn't hopefully be too big of a deal. So let's just try them out and. Um, I think that's really all there is to it. Honestly, the one T is a bit unnecessary, but I just also don't know what else to put in. There's no need to put anything else in a vehicle type. The Jumat isn't really as strong anymore as it used to be when it was 20 or I think 20 points. But it was even before the Jumat got a speed buff, but I think it's still not necessarily worth it anymore. I should actually down with these, I think. And the rest looks fine. I, I like, I prefer them in a ground transport. Because the helicopter is slow and just has an MG. If it was slow and had rocket pods, maybe, but slow and not having any noticeable weaponry, I think I do prefer a ground transport. Um, and if I need a helo, I think I can maybe get just a Blackhawk from the Tokyon. So I know I butchered the name, I forgot how it's properly pronounced. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll hopefully see you next time.